Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a new Taylor Swift Bad Blood music video makeup tutorial and today is Ellen Pompeo as Luna and her look is really awesome and it's basically just the perfect cat eye and it's really big and really flamboyant and it's just a really good look that is um, good for going out and um, the rest of her face is really um, dulled down and really um, almost, what's the word? Um, it's natural but it's really understated. So um, that's the look I'm gonna be doing today. So let's go ahead and get So started. as you're watching this video, I'm on my way to Chicago with my best friend and my mom to go hang out in the city and see all the sights and the sounds and eat a lot of really good food and actually go and see One Direction at Soldier Field. And I'm really excited. So hopefully this video doesn't take up too much of your time today because I don't wanna spend a lot of time filming it. So the first thing I'm gonna do is um, actually do my eyebrows because I've already done my base and all the concealer and all that good stuff. So I'm actually gonna be using the Anastasia Brow Wiz. I use the color Dark Brown, which which is actually a really good match for the medium brown and the pomade. So if you're kind of looking at getting um, both products, dark brown and medium brown are basically the same. So I like this product because I can get a more fuller brow than I can with the pomade. And it comes with one of these little spoolies on the end, which is really nice. I'm actually, actually going to take this to Chicago with me because it's going to be better for traveling than the pomade is. I'm just filling in any gaps that... I have. And I'm really excited about Chicago because I flew into Chicago when I went to Wales last summer, but all we saw was O'Hare Airport. And let me just tell you, O'Hare Airport is just a little terrifying because it's massive. And there's so many people running around and you don't really know where to go. But lucky last summer I was actually with a group of friends going to Wales. So I wasn't alone like I was the first time I went to Wales. And had to go through the Atlanta airport by myself. So we're flying into O'Hare. And then Friday, I think we're doing like a boat tour thing. And then on Friday also, we're, I know we're gonna go to the signature bar that one of my mom's friends said was really good. And then we are, I think we're just gonna hang out in our hotel because we get in in the afternoon. So we don't really have a lot of time. I'm just gonna give these a quick brush through. So that's my eyebrows done. And um, the next thing that we're gonna do is actually do the cat eye. And for that, I'm gonna be using the Bobbi Brown Longwear Gel Eyeliner in Black Ink and the Bobbi Brown Ultra Fine Eyeliner Brush. And this is a really good product also to use for traveling because you can do so many things with it. I feel like this is gonna become kind of like a travel type video as well what to take with you on vacation um first off what i'm gonna do is just draw the line right at my um, root of my lashes and make it thick and it's okay if a little bit gets underneath we can always clean that up later And then, ooh, somehow I got some on my finger and it got down here. So naturally, my eye has already started to pull up. So I'm just gonna continue to follow that line. Does 
just really working it right here into this corner as well because we don't want to have any of that kind of flesh color showing or any of that gap. And because I have hooded eyes, um, sometimes sometimes winged eyeliner doesn't really work on me very well. But I did learn a trick that if I bring this section over more where the crease of my eye comes down, that it'll look a lot better. So that's what I'm going to do. But if you don't have hooded eyes, just do um, winged eyeliner however it works best for your shape of eye. So that's my eyeliner done and as you can see um, the lines are really clean and I, I didn't have to use any makeup remover because of the shape of the Bobbi Brown brush. It's got a really thin type point at the end and the brush is really flat so you can really get in there and work with really thin lines. And the next part of the look is to use any type of black pencil. I'm just using the Rimmel Coal Scandalize. And I'm bringing the black just a little bit underneath my eye. And maybe just like a quarter of the way over. Just kind of smudging that right below the lash line and then putting a ton of mascara on. And my favorite right now is the Mally one. I've been using that in all of my videos recently. So if you're new here, welcome. Hi, my name is Megan. And if not, you have seen this mascara before and I love it. It really gives you that false eyelashes effect without having to put any falsies on. But if you want to put falsies on after mascara would be the time to do it like always and definitely in the video ellen had on um different layers of falsies and you can definitely do that if you're into that i personally am not so i'm just going to stick with lots and lots of mascara and then the last step is obviously lipstick and for that i'm going to be using the trustio l'oreal color Julianne's Nude and 620 is the color number and I've used this in a lot of videos before because most of the lip colors are nude. I'm just going to do it straight from the bullet. And that's my So if you like this look, give this a video a big thumbs up and go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And I will be back on Tuesday with another video. It's going to be a sports vlog because I got to go to Jaguars practice and I met Gus Bradley and there's a couple of other surprises in there. And then there'll be another one of these Taylor Swift Bad Blood music video makeup tutorials on Friday. So I hope you guys have a great weekend. I know I'm going to in Chicago. So I'll see you guys really soon. Bye.